Welcome back to Bags on the Go. Make sure y'all subscribe, like this video, and comment down below. It's Bags. Now let's get into it. I have some updates for you. Welcome back to Bags on the Go. Last piece of glass is in. Got the new glass for the Caballero. Can't wait to get this installed. I already have the clips for the troll molding already in place. So when the windshield goes in, then we're gonna put the moldings on. That's one thing. Let's move on. So in this video, we got updates. We're gonna talk about updates. We're gonna talk about what products is in. So the most important part about this video is this bed mat that I have from, um, um, what, was it? what was the name of the company? Y'all seen my last video I had. Uh, it was from my, from my good friends at Castaway Customs. And it was the CDAC mat. Now, remember, I told you I was gonna have a custom mat design for the bed. Pull it, let me pull it down so you can see it. Remember I told you I had a custom mat being designed. So, check this out. This is the mat. See how I just put the GMC right in the middle? It's gonna be just very subtle. Nothing too crazy, nothing standing out too far. Now, I don't know if I showed you the tail lights is in, but I got them all wired up. Put the plate in place. And uh, we still got the audio stuff back here in the dash. We're getting to that point real soon. Um, I just need to make sure I put the windshield in and then put the dash in the car because I don't want the dash sitting up too far. I don't want the dash to be sitting up too far then when they put that windshield in, it ain't seated right. See right here, it's touching the windshield right there. So it's just step by step, piece by piece. But real soon, you'll be able to see that dash in there and it will be installed. We're getting there. Interior's coming soon. We're getting there. We are ahead of schedule, if I had to say, the time frame that I built this car on. Um, we're ahead of schedule. It's still April and May, this car may in fact be on the ground sometime May. So let me let me open up this box, show y'all this mat, cause I'm excited. There goes the old mat. I gotta pretty much put them both together and that's the mat that I will use. So let me open up this box real quick. So I kept it nice and simple. I just did it one color because I didn't want a trifecta color to stick out. I didn't want a, I thought this color was gonna be, before I seen this car painted, I thought this color was gonna be a little yellowish. So I was worried about doing this color, which is like a cool gray uh, with like an off white. I didn't wanna do that. I was like, you know what? We just keep it simple and do it one color because I wanted this this area right here to be another color. So now that I'm looking at it, I may be able to put something in here. I don't know what. I have to look up some kind of uh, rubber paint or even if I can get some vinyl, uh, get put some glue down and put some vinyl in here. Uh, anything is possible. I mean... Real simple, real easy. If I can make this stand out with the GMC, I would like to do that. But other than that, that's going to be a hit right there. I would just leave it and put it right in the bed. So next, this is the mat that I will be sticking this onto. So this has adhesive backing on it. Remove that in half and half. I'll stick it to this. But before I do so, I need to clean this mat and then I need to try to sand these down the best I can. Just make them a little bit smoother so it don't have 
this gap in between. If I could just get it down just a little bit, it ain't gotta be perfect, cause this is gonna pretty much lay right on top of the mat and you won't, you, you couldn't even tell what's on the bottom of it. And then this mat will go back in the bed and keep my new mat down on the bed. I ain't gotta worry about it blowing out or, you know what I'm saying, anything. It'll be heavy enough. So I'm gonna use the existing mat, throw it in the bed, because I can't put my new mat just straight in the bed. It's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. It would, the glue sticking up and then the water going up under and all of that, it just, it, it wouldn't last. And that stuff costs too much money just to be throwing down in that bed and saying we gonna change it later. Or that adhesive ruining my paint on a bed floor. So. We're going to do it this way. So let me go ahead, prep up, do what I got to do. But I think that's my task for this weekend. Get this mat in designed, installed, and throw it in a bed. And let's take some photos from upstairs and see how it looks down onto the bed. Can't wait. And we got the windshield. Can't wait. And then we're going to put the molding on. Woo -wee. Uh, Malibu is back on the ground. I went and got the front wheels aligned, so I got the wheel alignment set. Everything is running good. Uh, the new suspension on here, oh man, it feels so good. It's hard to even get my foot off the pedal, man. I'm flying down the street now. I love how it feels when the car is sitting up and then, man, she just hauls right now. That front suspension, I got it dialed in. Finally got the uh, the coilovers adjusted right to where I like it and and the knob turned right to, I think it's like nine notches, click, 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 nine clicks. And it's not, it's, it's not, it's not bouncy how it was the first time I took it out. So I took it out real quick after the alignment, see how alignment drives, it goes straight down the road. Um, if you'd want to see, I got the pro touring. So if you want to see, uh, let me see where I put it. So I got the Pro Touring kit for the front with the coilovers. And if you want to see my alignment, maybe this could help you if you got the same. So you might want to pause this and you could possibly go off of this and take this to your alignment shop. Maybe this will help you but this is this is right where I'm at and I like it it's not pulling it's going straight down the road all right and Gotta get you some old school. You gotta get you some old school shims. I keep that kind of stuff. Go to the shop. They don't. They don't use shims. I got my own. So she's running. Uh, I'm babying her right now. What I had to do while it was on jack stands last week is bleed all the brakes, and I had to change her brake line on the passenger side that was leaking. I've never seen anything like this, obviously, but. To me, it looks like, I don't know if it, the flu is running inside of the hose. We need y'all to uh, do a beat. Uh, or what, but it was leaking though. It was leaking because that's what the new one looked like and that's what the old one. But in the inside of my wheel was black. So flu was leaking there and started in the back wheel. Then you go to this back wheel. Then you come over here, and then you go over here. And only the top screws. And I also liked these bottles so fluid don't get everywhere all on the ground like to keep it clean. Got these bottles. One of them goes on the screw, and then one goes inside the bottle. And when you open up the screw, and they it goes right into the tube, right in the bottle, and you can feel it shaking when it has air going into the line. So 
we all bled it up and got better brakes and that's all that matters so i'm trying to baby her right now because the next time i take it out i just want to take it out for an event and uh you know keep my baby on ice this is the early spring season i can't uh be putting her through too much wear and tear before the summer because we got some trips to go on and I ain't trying to put this car back up in the air and break the wheels off of it and then be sitting around waiting for parts and any adjustments. Put it together, leave it alone. All right, so I'm halfway in right now. And uh, what I did was I scraped the edge down. Then I got my grinder and just grinded the mat just to give it something for that glue to stick to and to smooth it down. So, you know, I didn't have to really have to take that grinder. And cause I did the small ones first, I tried to grind it down and see how long it would take in this rubber mesh. Stuff stank and just burning. And I was like, you know what, let me cut this crap short and just go around with my knife and just like a potato and just score the corners all the way around to knock down that edge because the thing is when I put that um, put that material on top of that mat you don't want nothing with a hard corner so if I got like a smooth corner I can just work my way I can work my way and work it smooth all the way up into the groove and it'll be fine but you don't want a hard edge like this edge you don't want that because then that's going to be air. That's going to lead to other problems. I'm trying to get it to tack to, excuse me. I'm trying to get it to tack to this mat the best way possible that I can. And so far, this is what I came up with. Not too bad, just tedious. But we're getting there. We're halfway in. I got to do the other half. So the sun stills up. So you know what we're doing. We work. The mat is in. The mat is in. And uh, what I will like to add, when we did the designs, I mean, you would think this really was the back way looking into the bed of the truck. And that's the reason why I wanted GMC right there so you could read it if you was behind the car. But it's not. It, it happens, you know what I'm saying? Every time you design something and you don't quite have it inside the car, stuff like this will happen. And it's fine and Danny with me because guess what? I can look out the window and look back around this mat and see it. People do this inside the car on the rear decks too. They have the image facing where the driver can turn around and look at it. So it is what it is. This whole idea is what makes me happy because I didn't want that black mat in here. And they don't make any other color mats, it's just black. So I wanted to switch it up, but still have my mat to protect the ground and you don't have to see the bed all dinged up, scratched up when I start to put things back here. So it looks good. And until it gets weathered and all of that, then I have to clean it probably get me some kind of special spray and a and a brush but i already try to get my fingerprints off of it the best i could but yeah this is this is what i wanted i don't know how i came up with it but i did and i got it so there you go the mat is in there it's kind of hard to tell on camera it kind of looks like it looks true right here if i tell you this is how it looks this is this is the true look but, you know, at different angles, you look at it, it's gonna look 
more gray. <sighs> so what I did was put it right on the mat before I go home. I said, I'm about to see how this stuff looks together. I can't, every time I work on a project, I can't stop until I'm done. So now that's it. I'm about to go ahead and go home and sleep on it. And I'll be back tomorrow to check, check it out. And uh, I'm gonna leave this stuff out of the bed for now. I'm gonna put it in there, then it gets it dirty. So we gotta find a new spot for the audio stuff, which is gonna be on my table over there.